All right, this is Pink Girly just popping on. Let's do a little, oops, I got my sound up on the phone. I'm going to do a little paint project, I think. So I thought I'd just put on my camera. I've come to the conclusion I really don't like, number one, drinking water through a straw. Number two, drinking water through a plastic straw. Gross. That's gross to me. Gross, gross, gross. Okay, so I was looking up. Oh, this is Pink Early, Lori from the Pink Early channel. And <clears throat> I was looking through... Oh, I guess some of them were Pinterest. It just pulled up on my phone some um, primitive um, Halloween ideas. So I just did some quick sketches of some things. My husband pulled these boards off of the front of a drawer of, of a bureau. So I thought they were kind of cool. So I'm going to paint on these, I think. Just see if I can make anything, you know, look cute. We'll see. We'll see. So I just have this. This is a trivet. Hey, Candy, how are you? Thanks for popping in. I have this trivet that I found at uh, a Goodwill that I like to use as a palette. So I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit, put that there, see if that doesn't cause too much of a problem with it being white. And this is what I'm thinking. I saw a picture. It had a tree with a moon and, of course, you know, a ground line and then a, a black cat over here and a pumpkin here. And they were each holding a little like trick or treat basket. Hi, Michelle Noel. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad it arrived. Oh, that was fairly quick. Wonderful. I hope you were pleased with what was inside. So I'm going to just uh, create a little line here. And I probably should put a little sealant, sealer, all-purpose sealer in my acrylic paint that I'm going to start with. Let's get out a little white. That's always a good idea. Some black. And let's see, where's my all purpose, multi purpose sealer? That's, that'll be good. And I'll grab a couple paper towels. So I hope everyone is doing well. It's beautiful here in South Jersey. Sunny, breezy. Have the doors open, the windows open. All right, let's see here. Push some of my other stuff aside here. Hope I can get to my paint wheel. So I kind of want maybe a, a grayer sky, and I want some green down the bottom. I probably am going to sand around it. And this is going to be, you know, small. So I'm not, I'm not sure how this will work out. Well, let's see. That's what I was thinking of doing. Then I have that one. These sketches don't look so good. This is a pumpkin with a ghost and a cat. Oh, I was going to do the Frankenstein. He might look cute on that board. That might be easier to start with. And then a black cat. See, I need some stuff to put in um, my one co-op. This would look cute too. See, because these boards are narrow. Let's see. The board is only... Yeah, it's only like five inches. Five inches by uh, 14 and a half. Frank would have to have a very long face. If I did Frankenstein. Hmm. 
See, this is how I get into trouble. I always double guess, second guess myself. If I did a crazy little pumpkin there and put a crow on each side, that might be cute. Well, let's just get started. Let's start with some gray. Let's see, I've got a light French blue gray. That might be a good Halloween background color. And like I've said before, a lot of my paints are really been with me for quite some time so my husband just sanded this down like I said it was the front of a, a dresser I have a friend who gets like really cool pieces to paint on I don't know where she finds them I think a lot of times people save stuff for her but she must trash pick to a certain degree too okay so i have i'm using a french blue color light french blue by americana and i'm just going to put a base coat down so i'm adding some all-purpose sealer in my color to um really kind of kill two birds with one stone And I want to wet my brush, take out the excess, and I'm just going to put this on and then I'm going to dry it and probably do a second coat. We'll just see. So what's everyone up to today on this fine Friday? I always think it's Saturday because my husband's off. Now, this is not real perfect wood, which I, which is good. You know, I mean, I'm fine with that. This is just going to be a rustic. And then, hey, Zena. And then my um, husband will drill holes in it for me, and we'll put a wire on it or some kind of a rope twine. So what this does is gives me a little bit of a color for a background and then it also seals the wood. Because if you just put the paint on with no sealer in there or you don't start with a sealer first, like you can paint on a, a clear sealer. But then your paint can soak in and then your wood can split. And you know what? If you're doing it for yourself and that's okay. But if you're wanting to give it as a gift or like me, you like to sell your things. You don't want any surprises for your customer. So I'm going to hit it with my heat gun just a little. Now, to decide what I want to paint, I really kind of thought I wanted to paint this. Oh, good. Then my hair dryer here for my paint won't bother you. <laughs> um, I think this piece of wood might be a little too narrow for that design. So maybe we'll do Frankenstein or the pumpkin with the crows so now I'm, woo! I think I'm going to leave the back side just the way it is I can always put a stain on that if I feel like I need to so I'm going to do a little more I was thinking if I did Frankenstein, what kind of a, I could put Happy Halloween, I guess, on top or on bottom of him. Like, I don't want him to be too, too large. I might try him, because he looks easy to do. I 
And I'm not concerned about these uh, tongue and groove things here either. So I just put out a little more paint, a little more sealer, and I'm going to do these edges. Just to kind of finish it off. So it looks neat. Now I can already see where this is buckling up a little bit. Now, if I'm going to do Frank, Frank is really um, kind of on a green side, right? We want Frankie to be a little green. So I don't really have a whole lot in greens. This is a little too, too green, I think. He's kind of like, um, in my mind, he's kind of like a sickly green, right? So I've got the thicket. I've got avocado. I'm just wondering if I If you mix paint, you just want to make sure you mix enough, you know, to get your base coat down. And I had a bunch of those little um, contact lens thingies, and then I keep throwing them out because I have so many of them, but then I forget where I put them. And they would make a great little container to hold a little puddle of paint. As I rummage through my trash, I know I just threw some in there. Is everybody relaxing or? Let's see, it's about four o'clock here on the East Coast. So I'm kind of winding down for the day. Oh, goodness me, worry. I just hate to mix it or not. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look, you. All right, so I'm going to use some avocado. I'm going to put a little bit of that thicket green in. I think I'm going to put in some of my light French blue and see what that gives me and then I'm going to well let's see pencil's probably not the best idea but that's what I have here I wish I had a chalk pencil so I mean he's just really an oblong rectangle square right so I'm just gonna down this way and he doesn't have to be perfect he's Frankenstein and then of course we have to have a little room for a neck because we need to have our bolts And I'm just going to do where I need to have a nose. And I don't want to maybe so much. Uh, paint in his mouth with the green. Just kind of. 
and we're going to go this way. Probably can't see too much what I'm doing, right? See, I'm just sketching in a few of his features. Do the hair, look at the nose. I don't think I like his mouth. Now he doesn't have to be evil. He doesn't have to be evil. All right, so I've got him sketched out. Now we need to give him ears. So I'm going to put a little bit of the avocado. See if I can get any thicket out. This thicket was really ugh, thick. And we're going to put a little of this blue gray in here and see how nauseating this color is. If you have any questions for me, um, it's probably easier for me if you put it in caps. In case you have any questions about why I'm doing some crazy things that I'm doing. Ooh, this almost looks like a army gray kind of. Hmm. That's not too bad, I don't think could be a little deeper. Can you guys really see that? But see, I want to I want to be able to shade around it around his features as well too. So I might want to splash in a little bit of dark hauser green. That's always a good color. Let's just see. Now, once I start coloring in his face, you should be able to see a little better what I'm doing here. Oh, that sounds fun. I love swaps. Of course, I mostly did swaps with um, yarn girls, girls that knit. That was fun. We would wrap up different goodies inside the ball of yarn and then send the ball of yarn. So as they were using it and unwound it, they would find different goodies hidden in the ball of yarn. It was fun. Fun. It was quite lovely. All right, let's see. Perhaps I should... Start with a smaller brush and maybe block in his mouth and his eyeballs. So I'm going to put out a little white. Pardon my reach. I'm just using acrylic paint on a piece of old wood. And you could really, sometimes I use palette wood. Depends on what you're doing. Palette wood's a little rough. For, um, so I did wet my brush and I'm just going to block in this area here for his mouth. It's Frankenstein, so we don't have to be, I don't have to be, uh, it's not like I'm painting the Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have made you. His mouth is much too chubby, but see, I can I can paint over that. 
And then we just want to block in as I just want to block in as I I think. So welcome, welcome to anybody that's popped in. It's lurking. eye looks a little bigger than the other eye, I think. Oh, yes. I say things. My mom was like this. She's still like it, I guess. We would say a certain word or something, and she'd start singing a song that reminded her of that. And I've I'm got that habit. Hey, Jilly, how are you? Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. All right, so now I'm going to find a flat. Oh, here's a filbert. I love a filbert brush. Let me grab this. And I'm going to wet my bristles. And I'm going to use this green that I've mixed. And I'm going to need a couple coats of this, I'm sure. For anybody that's just popping in, I'm just doing a Halloween Frankenstein portrait. <laughs> Mary Kay Kays, hi, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I just thought if I'm going to paint something or do something, there's not a whole lot of activity going on on YouTube. I would just pop on my camera. And I think I'm going to trim his mouth down. I don't know if that Frankenstein is such a big mouth. My grandmother's birthday was Halloween. And she always had a party. She had an outside what we called gazebo. It was a big, big screen house. And of course, we would get dressed up. I wasn't too thrilled about that as a youngin. And my Uncle Fred... All my dad's family is gone now. He was tall, always wore a crew cut. As a kid, I remember him wearing a crew cut. And he dressed as Frankenstein. He made himself some blocks of wood that he had his shoes attached to. He was already, I would say, at least six foot. This Frank looks a little too thin, I think. I might have to fatten him up a bit. And oh my gosh, did he make a great Frankenstein. Those were the days. All right, we're going to make Frank, I think, a little. Now, this is a narrow piece of wood, but I'm going to bring him out a little bit more here. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't look good, I'll paint over it, right? Hey, Kathy. Oh, Kathy. Oh, my gosh, Kathy. I have to go back and watch yesterday's, your yesterday's stream. I missed the beginning. But those faces you were getting out of, oh, my gosh, girl, they were so cool. I love watching you work. Anybody that didn't see Kathy Arbor's stream yesterday, you need to check it out. It was so, so cool. It's 
so cool. All right, Frank is really looking very, very thin. He needs a good meal. And I really just want this to be fun and no, you know, really no fuss, no muss, just something you could see. I guess I'm assuming, I don't know, I don't want to say, maybe I shouldn't say this because I'm assuming I didn't go back and watch the very first 20 minutes, but it kind of looked like you had put down different colors of, of watercolor and then maybe put the um, cellophane on it to get all the different markings and then look for faces in that. Oh my gosh, it was just so cool. All right, sorry girls, I lifted that up and I shouldn't have. All right, so I'm going to put some ears on Frankie here. Let's see. I'm just going to make them real simple like this. And then I want to give them a bit of a neck because I want them to do bolts. Mm. we have the doors and windows open which we haven't had that for a while because it's been so warm here oh is that what you did okay cool that's so cool kathy very cool and um if you hear anybody laughing it's my neighbors having a little get together and the sound seems to be traveling down this way okay now probably down here I'm just gonna make a black like a black shirt and I think he's a little crooked I'm gonna use my heat gun Yeah, like the one you did, the one face you did, Kathy, down at the bottom lower corner, I saw the one eye. I was wondering, when we started working on that, I saw the one eye, and I thought, oh, where is she going to find that? Sure enough, it was right there. I didn't see it, but you saw it. All right, I'm just going to add a little more white to his eyes. Hey, Riri. Now, I said earlier, before some of you probably popped in, that I just had Googled primitive Halloween things to paint and then just did some rough sketches. So I re would remember, you know, some of the ideas. And these are just uh, for fun pieces to put in my co-op. If somebody could hang on their front door or if they're having a party or... Really, they could spray it and put it out in the yard. So we're doing a simple Frank. A simple Frank. All right, now I'm going to grab um, some kind of a flat brush if I can find or an angle. Let me let me do the angle. And it looks a little more green than gray, but that's all right. I think I want to 
put out some just a little bit of my house of green let's see if this is dark enough Let's see if I can work this. See if this will work. It might not be dark enough. I wonder if I picked up. Oh, I picked up thicket, not the hauser. I guess I put. Well, let's try the thicket. And I'm just going to do a little bit of shading around his eye. To start. Can you guys see that? I feel like I have a little bit of a shadow or glare. come around the outside edge and just try to uh, put a little color here so you can see where his ear is attached hey hon can, that was brian can you tell him i'm streaming our son would just called my cell phone. He's supposed to call the house phone. What? Would you call Brian and tell him I'm streaming? He just called my cell phone. I think I'm going to deepen up around his eyes a little bit here. Okay, Michelle Noel, thanks for coming. I think you're Leon if I don't if I don't, uh, if I've got that correct, I think you're a little late on. Thanks for coming. All right, his nose. I'm just doing, I want to go up above his eyes. And hey, Brenda. How are you? Good to see you. Doing a little, little, little Frankenstein board here. I'm just going to come around the bottom of his chin. I'm a twirler. Try to remember to stay in frame where you can see me. What I'm doing, I'm just floating a little color around the edge here. Now I want to, I want to decide if I, what I want to put on here. I don't want to, if I say Happy Halloween, that's going to be. I'm, I was thinking about just putting. Hey, Frida! Hi, hi, hi! I know, Frida. I, I was looking at your name. I got to figure out the time zone. How many hours difference I am? And um, I've been so tired doing some stuff with my son and running around. And I just have not had a chance to uh, sit and chat really with anybody. I fall asleep. So I apologize for that. And I, I was going to see if I could see where your package was, but I didn't do that either. Okay, let's see. I want to do the other side of his nose here. I'm probably going to come back in with some black for sure. Mm. 
me do around the outside of his ear, at least at the top. So now I just want to say this for anybody who says, oh, no, I couldn't do that. Really, you could, because Fra especially Frankenstein, it's just like a rectangle. His head's just a rectangle, right? With rounded corners. He doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, he's he's not really a good looking guy, right? I'm going to put more in his mouth to uh, try to make his pearly whites, at least at this juncture. I'm going to put teeth, you know, lines in there and probably shade a little bit. Now, what if I was smart, what I would have done was I would have done a screenshot of the picture that I saw. Okay, now let, those, let that dry a little bit. I'm going to get out some black. So I'm pouring this right on my, I'm going to put this right on my desk. This is an old office desk and it's got a great surface to really even use it as a palette. Somewhere I have a small bottle of black paint and I keep misplacing it and I don't know where I put it. And I don't want to really dip my, uh, oh, I see what I forgot to do. I don't really want to dip my brush into my large stash of paint, my black paint. Of course, now I can't get that lid on. So we're going to have to address that later. All right, let me, I didn't do his neck. Let me put a little bit of this green on his neck. All right. see I don't want a too too thick of a line this could all go wrong here girls Take, uh, let's see, I'm going to take my round brush and let's give him some Franken hairs here. Let's see. This might help. When I try to stay in the lines and I'm painting, I have a hard time painting and talking. And I think I want this to come down a little bit more. Any ideas on what words I can put on the board? Because it's so narrow. If I do happy Halloween with, oh, look, I got black down. Oh, that's just a dry, dry flake. I thought I put a. And then I was thinking about just putting Frank. Does anybody have any clever ideas?
Okay. That'll do for right now. Now I need a liner brush. I think I want a bigger, bigger liner brush. Let's see. I'm just going to do straight lines across here. Her eyebrows. And then to start, I'm going to do a, use a smaller, thinner liner brush, which I just, I really like a liner brush. But you could probably do this with um, a Posca pen or a marker. And I'm just going to do little lines to outline his eyes. Gonna give him a big pupil. Try to get that as round as I can. I got way too much paint in there. I'm going to pick them up and turn them around to do this eye. This eye, I got a little bigger than the other eye. But we're going to say that this is part of his charm. I don't know. He doesn't look, he doesn't really look very gross, does he? Hmm. And down here, let's give him a think he kind of looks a little too handsome let's outline his mouth Make one pupil larger. Larger than the other pupil, Cass? Is that what you mean? Or, the, or that I don't have them? Um, I think I know what you mean. Okay. Yep, okay. Cool. Good tip. 
Roll. All right, now, i got to let that dry a little bit. I think I want to put some green across his teeth. I'm going to use the green face green. Just give him a little, we just can come back over that black. Just do a little green. That wasn't, of course, dry. And then I think I need a, uh, let's see, just a um, yeah, black bottom here. Let's give him a. Rough that up a little bit. And then um, I think I need some. Where did I put my. Let me get my Hauser. I think I need a darker green here. And let's try. A little off. See, this might be a little too greeny green. Let's put a little black in there. Of course, I do have a black green. That might be a good idea. Let's see if I can. Shadow out the. This hairline a little bit here. And. Looks like he's getting ready to play football. Are you ready for some football? Just want to try to grunge him up a little bit. Oh, you go back to teaching? Oh, candy. My daughter already started back. some good ideas as far as um, I teach in art school oh I gotcha okay so you st your start was a little later than what normal yeah she's fourth grade in a public school He's really a very happy looking Frank. Okay, now I think I need something. Um, 
with that. Let's do um, that. Maybe a little green across across his eyes, the top of his eyes, maybe. That's too heavy. That's too heavy. I just want a little hint of moldy moldiness and green just a hint okay now i think i want some kind of a Like I want the letters to be real rustic, rustic, and I'm thinking I want like a dry, brushy kind of darker gray around the edge. I don't know if I have. Oh, I have a charcoal gray. Where do I have my? Um, I have a dry brush, kind of a brush. It's bigger. Yeah, this might be something real scratchy. Let's see if this works. I kind of like to, um, you know, bring that in a little bit. Let's see. Let's see how this charcoal looks. This is just called charcoal, and it's a Delta Ceram coat. So I'll just plop a little bit of that out. I'm going to put that on my brush and then I'm not wetting the brush I'm using the brush dry and it's a bristly kind of a brush and I'm just tapping it in my paint and then I'm gonna work most of the color off of my brush and then just add You just kind of pretty it up a little bit here on the edges. And then when you start to run out of color, you just load up your brush again. Could even put a little bit of smudgy on him. Couldn't I? Couldn't I? Yes, I could. Doing the bottom. I don't like spiders and snakes. All right, now just do I just put Frank across the top and let it go? See if anybody likes it. Put it in the shop. Or does anybody have anything clever that I could put that I'm not thinking of? I wonder if I should give him a mole. I don't have to do that right now either. What grade art do you teach, um, Candy? Do you go to different schools? And you, do you have different grades? My daughter's uh, sister-in-law, she's an elementary art teacher. All right, I'm going to add, put a little bit of white in my charcoal and scuff up his, um, his shirt a little. Now, I'm thinking about my next board. I 
Well, except for some kind of a word, I think I think I'm gonna say Frank's done. So that's just a quick little project. I have a couple of these boards. And this one's a little deeper. Ooh. Ooh. I used to have a tack cloth. Have no idea. No idea where I might have put my tack cloth. Let me see. Let me wipe up some of this before I get my board in it. And or my hand. Taking a little sip there. Could I almost said a handy wipe? No, oh, that's a flashback. Maybe I'll do those other little pumpkins in a tree. Pumpkin and a black cat. Now I've got this green here that I mixed up for Frankenstein. So I was thinking I would do something like this. Just have a little tree in the center. Pumpkin and a black cat. These are not my ideas. I went online and looked at some stuff on Pinterest. So I'm thinking I don't want eh, maybe that deep. I'm going to add a little all-purpose sealer to this concoction. Frida, I know I've asked you this a hundred times if you're still here. Uh, what time of day is it for you now? Maybe I can lock that into my brain. Frida's in Norway. If she's still here. All right, let's see. Oh, I got some blue there. All right, so I'm just going to rough this. Well, this just is uh, acrylic paint and I put a little bit of all purpose sealer in it to seal my wood. Our friends that used to live, well, we used to live in Pennsylvania as well. So good friends of ours that lived in Pennsylvania moved to Colorado because their younger son lives there and uh, started a family. So they all moved. And uh, we haven't seen them for a couple of years. So they're on the East Coast visiting. So tomorrow is our day to visit with them have some time to catch up and play pinochle we've been playing pinochle online but we've been looking forward to playing in person so that'll be fun for us tomorrow all right so i'm just got a little bit of a forefront lawn thing going on there and then I'm going to use some of the uh, light French blue 
for a kind of a dry, gray, dreary kind of a fall Halloweeny sky. And again, I'm just mixing in a little bit, just a little drip of sealer. This is just for my base color. Let's see, I think I need a little, little bigger brush, but a little smaller than what I was using up to the bottom. And I'm just going to block this in. And then I'm going to put a tree in the center. But my pumpkin and my cat will be very exaggerated in the front. This is just, you know, not realistic, just fun, just fun stuff. Got some other ideas I'm mulling around in my head. I think I gotta work out a few kinks. And get crack a lacking on some of those. And I'm just roughing this in. Now you could always find a pattern. I'm sure there are folks on Etsy that sell patterns. You know that you can then trace, use your um, like graphite type, I want to say copy paper, but that's not really what it is. It's a, a sheet of graphite that you can trace onto fabric or wood, and then you can easily paint over it if you're not into just eyeballing something and, you know, Kinda going by the seat of your pants. Let's see, I need a little more green here. Get on that little wingy, wingy thing over there. And then I want to put a little of that blue gray at the top here just to finish off the top part of my piece. I don't know if I got enough to do that. Of course not. I need another little another little squirt. Boop. I've been trying to come on fairly regular and I've been trying to come on sometime on Wednesdays and then Saturday mornings or early afternoon, which that's probably not going to work out tomorrow because our friends are coming in and uh, our son was buying a car. So I spent Wednesday with him working that out. So kudos to these ladies that keep these schedules for us and we can count on them being having their channel up and allowing us to come and watch and visit with them because that's it's really it's really not easy to do. All right, so the tree, I want the tree, I want there to be a big moon in the center, and then the tree kind of splits around the moon. 
Yeah, I kind of take that for granted, you know. You think it's, oh, well, they're just always going to be there. But it's really tough to do that. All right, I think I'm going to add a little more avocado. Put that out. And, you know, I don't really have too much in the way of dark browns either. So let's just see what we've got here. Let me try this. Look, look what Lori did. She rolled her paint into a blob of paint so she can no longer read the color. Wasn't that intelligent? So this is some kind of brown. Let's give this a go. And I've said this many, many times. Do as I say, don't do as I do. I'm going to put my brush right into the lid of this here bottle of paint. Don't do it. Do not do it. Okay, so. Let's just kind of get an idea. It's just kind of like, say we're going to have a white full moon there all right and then i'm going to grab a little bit of this brown and kind of just make it loosey-goosey and i'm gonna it's going to be a short tree It's really weird watching yourself on the um, computer screen and then on your phone. I have the phone sitting here so that I can keep an eye on the chat. Well, my hubby's bringing me dinner. Thanks, honey. So I might take a bite here, girls. Ooh. Okay, this tree's looking a little crazy. A little cray cray. And I think I want maybe just come over here a little. This might be a little too much. Mm. It may not look so good now, but it might. Look, it, I think it'll look okay after after a while. Now I need to get a pumpkin and a black hat. 
pumpkin had a pumpkin a long narrow pumpkin and a black hat with a you know kind of round on the bottom we have a little bite of my dinner here Like Janet Nash. Mm, mm. Pretty good. So I want a um let me cap up my brown. And before I do that, I think I'm going to put a little more avocado in here. Like that. All right. My husband has found a great way to make crumbs for like on the top of the macaroni casserole. They stay really crunchy. He likes to watch those tester tester kitchen shows. Come on, we use my heat gun. this dirty dry brush that had the gray in it hi Chris how are you I hope you've been well I haven't seen you for a little bit of course I kind of lurk at Keisha's All right, so put that in. That's pretty good. All right. I used to keep up. Hmm. Go charcoal or chalk pencil, you know, that I could sketch in all right, so I'm going to do a kind of a tall and narrow pumpkin over here so I want him to end about there And I'm just going to make them like a half of an oval, kind of a, you know, I mean, a pumpkin doesn't have to be perfect. And I didn't put it in initially because I didn't really want to paint around it. I may regret that decision because I want to put orange in there, but the black, it won't matter. And so the black cat is going to be about the same. And I want to give the black cat some ears. And I want the black cat to just be really heavy and round on the bottom. And once I start painting that in, 
I can shape that up a little better. All right. So let's see. I'm going to give me some more black. Well, you know what? I should do, I'm right handed, I should do left to right. Let's see if I can find a nice orange, orangey color here. Hmm. This is Canyon Orange. So, Chris, what are you up to? Did you just get home from work? Or have you been arting? Or what have you been up to? <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Can you see that? Canyon Orange. I'm going to give that a, give that a go. Sorry, I'm taking a bite of my dinner. All right, let's see. I think I need another piece of paper towel. Every time I look at the number of how many people are here and somebody else leaves, somebody leaves, <laughs> I think to myself, another one bites the dust. Oh, off today. Have a three-day weekend trying to find something to go to. Oh, someone to go shop a wanna with me tomorrow for the day. Hmm. I dripped water. All right, this is going to need a couple of coats. So let's just, let me block this in. Well, that sounds like fun. Uh, my sister, I have two sisters. So the sister next to me, she's uh, three years younger than me. Her daughter uh, started crocheting and now uh, she's hooked on knitting. Yay! And uh, and she taught my sister to crochet, which my mom, I think, tried to teach her when she was younger. My mom taught me, but I just think um, that sister, she's Nancy. Oh, Amish City in Indiana. Oh, cool. Well, if I was there and I could go, I would go with you, Chris. But Nancy didn't seem that interested when we were kids, and she never really knit or was in any of that jazz. So then her daughter started getting interested. <clears throat> well, now her daughter is like a knitting fiend. And uh, she got my sister crocheting. And she's making pumpkins and she's doing all kinds of cute stuff. Christmas trees. Anyway, my younger sister, well, that's part of the story. Then my younger sister, she always says she can't do anything. She doesn't have very doesn't have any talent. No. That's not really true. But she has started to fiddle around with felting. <clears throat> dry felting, needle felting, and she is quite good at it. And um, so I think on one of my other streams I had mentioned we had had a sister's day and we were making pumpkins. Anyway, they want to start a little business, if you will, where we make finished products. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, 
I messaged my niece something about yarn. And there's a place, I guess it's New York, upstate New York, called Rhinebeck Wool and Sheep Festival. I think it is something like that. So Caitlin said her and her mom were going. And I said, oh, I always wanted to go, but never really thought about actually being able to go. New York's not that far from us. So I got myself invited. <laughs> so we're going. So I'm excited about that. I think that's in October. All right, I'm putting out some black paint. And supposedly there's all kinds of animals there and all kinds of fiber and wool and probably trinkets, you know, like needles and hooks and buttons. I'm sure there are buttons, right? There'll have to be buttons. All right, I'm going to base in this black hat. Then we decided we're going to stay overnight. It's about a three-hour ride for us, I guess. Which really isn't. See, there I go again, Gene, if you're still here, thinking three-hour tour, three-hour tour. Oh, Chris, come, 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 come. And if you can believe it, you have to buy a ticket. So to get to get into the festival. So I'm thinking, well, that's going to set us back a couple of bucks. $12. Okay. It's $12. I said, that can't be right. But it is. So if you Google. I'm pretty sure it's Rhinebeck R-H. I-N-E-B-E-C-K, Rhinebeck Sheep and Wool Festival. You'll see all kinds of pictures and, you know, because wool is just not wool. So we started a wish list of things we want to buy when we <laughs> when we get there and as I like to say don't tell Ron now I don't do a lot of crocheting although I've been doing more crocheting lately I'm doing a a uh, what I'm calling a well I think she calls it that a boho vest the center of it is like a big mandala circle. And the gal that um, the pattern belongs to, what's her name? She's a cute little girl. Mm. She's got a different kind of a name. Hmm. It's not coming to me. You either can buy the pattern and download it for like six bucks, I think. Or you can deal with the advertisements and whatnot. But she also has a video. And she takes you through row by row and shows you, you know, where to put your hook and all that jazz. It's been very helpful. And uh, it's turning out really cute, cute. But she's got this aerogonomic hand-carved crochet hook 
that looks like it would be so comfortable for your hand. So I was going to order one from Etsy. And then I thought, oh, heck no, I'm going to buy that when I go to Rhinebeck. Then I can look at them and feel them, right? I pick out what I want. I'm also wanting some alpaca yarn. Now, I don't, I need yarn like I need a third. Well, let's not go there. But I know you may not be a, a yarn person. But alpaca is just so soft. My sister Nancy recently took myself and our younger sister to a, a llama farm in Jersey. It's only about a half an hour from me. This lady has seven llamas. Her name is Beverly. I forget the name of her farm. She's in New Egypt, New Jersey. Beautiful place. I just said, how do you, how do you one day just wake up and say, I want to own a, an alpaca? I mean, a, a llama or an alpaca. And their wool is cool, but it's this, this not really. Oh, Chris, I'll have to send you the link. Wait a minute, Chris, I got to show you this. Okay, the one, one. Um, well, his name is Eduardo, but she calls him Eddie. It's funny, her husband's name is Ed, so she calls him Ed with two legs. And then there's Eduardo here. I got to pull it up on my, I got to pull it up on my phone. I'll show you. And she would say, Eddie, you're going to give him a hug. And then he, he would butt his head into our heads and give us a little hug. Let me see if I can find my. Now, this isn't Eddie. I think that's Clementine back there, or Clementi back there. I forget what this guy's name is. Can you see him okay? We were standing right there. Oh, and the flies were... And then when we came back through, he was standing up. And where I stood, I kind of slipped a little bit. And he moved so we're... I didn't fall, you know, I mean, they're just, they're amazing, amazing animals. And she said, we asked about, you know, if you could give them treats like pieces of carrot or whatever. And um, she said, they only have um, bottom teeth. And um, she said, well, that's another one of us shopping. I think my sisters have the other ones. She said that um, she really curbs uh, what she allows them to have because they can have it, but they don't get it that often, number one. And then so they are so anxious to get it and get more. They don't take their time chewing and then they choke. And she had one choke, I think, on a piece of carrot. And luckily, the folks that were visiting that day, because Beth had gone in the house, she was, um, the lady knew what she was doing, and she massaged his neck, so where she got that piece of carrot out, so he didn't, you know, completely choke. In the original picture I saw, no, 
This might be a little too bright. Mm, maybe not. I think I want to put little uh, petals of leaves on the... Um, and I'm going to just try to not so much draw them on, but just do them with a brush. Let's see, this is a number six. This might be okay. Let's just see. Mm, might be a little big still. Mm, let's see, this one's a two. This might be a little... So yeah, I was surprised when my sister said she wanted to go to um, a llama farm because there there are a lot of um, al alpacas around where I live. All right, so I'm just going to drop a few leaves in here on these trees, and I should have gone. over to the other side and started from left to right but I did not do it I can add a little orange in here too This is not the best brush. Hey, Peggy. If you have a nice brush, you can make some really nice strokes. Peggy, I was just telling the girls about my little visit to the llama farm. In New Egypt, New Jersey. Oh, I got to twirl this, kids. Hey, Holly. For those of you that are just coming in, I did a Frankenstein earlier. I'm just popping in some leaves here. Whoa, I can always add more. Let's see how that looks. All right, I think I want to give this pumpkin one more coat. It doesn't have to be totally, totally, totally covered. That's much too, much too watery. Oh my gosh, girls. I just keep dripping on my wood. Oh, Holly, I'm so surprised at that. Do you like the kitty? I forgot to put the kitty tail on. I kind of forget what else was in this picture that I'm stealing the idea from. So, Lori, when is your next sale? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I just did um, the market. So we're just finishing, just finished that up. 
and uh, I've got some ideas, but I want to talk to Keisha first before I. So I'll keep you posted. Yes, big surprise. Holly is, likes the kitty catters. All right, this is what I did, girls, earlier. Come on, Peggy, I need your brain. It's my Frankenstein. I was just going to put Frank up here. I need. I think I need some words on here. Holly, Peggy, anything clever? I don't want to put, well, I could put happy and then Halloween down here. Halloween would be really small. So, no one else has come up with anything clever, myself included. Frank is so happy. <laughs> that, might, that might work, Peg. All right. Now, the original one had where the cat and the pumpkin were holding. Yes, I didn't do the bolts yet. You were exactly right. I got a got a hair there, paint hair, paint brush hair. Frankie. All right, I'm looking for. There it is. I want to put some bushes. over here so I'm just taking um, one of Donna Dewberry's scrub scrubby scruffy brushes and pouncing hey rain how are you electric plug coming from his neck oh yeah 50 watts per channel all right all right i'm just gonna add some darker can Some of that other green. Let's get a little bit of thicket. What's for snacks? Hmm. Well, I could put trick or treat. I didn't think about that. What's treat? Hmm. Okay, I'm getting a little carried away here with this. Rub line. Ah. One down on my paint, too far down in my. Sorry for that annoying noise. Hmm. 
nothing like cold mac and cheese. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see. I need a tail. That's not good. I should have pulled the picture up again. I'm okay when I copy, but I have to be looking at it. Oh, well. A, B, normal. I just don't understand. I don't know what that means. A, B, normal. Be normal. Holly will explain it to me. All right. I'm going to use a little bit of that. Oh, thanks, Chris. I'm not thinking it looks so, so great right now, but let's see if we can... Oh, abnormal, abnormal. Oh, I got it. I'm, uh, I'm a little challenged, as you might say, with some of these things. All right, let's see if I can. I need some white, white. Some bright, bright white. Let me put a little, see if I can get the side of this, the other side of the moon. Let me see if I can get this to pop a little here. I was thinking about that peg, Frankenstein. That, that, yeah, I was thinking about that. So now let's do I'm going to come around the outside edge and just put a little brown brown Dripping. Drippy, drippy mess. Drippy, drippy, drippy. Oh, okay. 
Glad you're back. Oh, thanks, Jilly. Yes, I would think that is too very rewarding teaching art to people that want want to learn. Or as my niece would say, that it's their thing. Holly, we, we've solved the mystery with my mother. My mother is 90 years old. And we say she's loopy. She's not really, um, I wouldn't say Alzheimer's, but maybe a little bit of dementia is setting in. And um, she's content to just be in her house and do her own thing and we have a hard time convincing her, to, you know, to get out and go have lunch or whatever. And uh, so, like I said, I was was working with and helping my son uh, get a, a car. And um, he needed to be taken over to the place and, you know, all that kind of jazz. Anyway, um, my mom's and my son lives with my mom. And he really kind of is our caretaker, caregiver. And um, she said to me, uh, I think Jackie called me, which Jackie is my younger sister. And said that Jessica is coming to visit me. Does Jackie have a relative named Jessica? And I said, well, if she did, Mom, she would be a relative to all of us because, you know, Jackie's related to us. And uh, the only thing I only person I could think of was my aunt's, my mom's sister's granddaughter is a Jessica, but she lives down south. So that really didn't make any sense. And uh, so I contacted my sisters. Neither one said they had called mom and said that anybody by the name of Jessica was going to visit. So as my son and I were leaving uh, for a couple hours, we told her, you know, lock the doors, put your headset on, don't answer the door. We're not expecting a Jessica. Well, here it turns out it is my aunt's granddaughter. Her and her husband are visiting and they're in the Philadelphia area and they're going to come Sunday and visit my mom. So she's not as loopy as we think. She just had a few facts not quite right so we figured that out so that was good <clears throat> all right i'm going to use this neon torrid orange and oh girls can you see that i don't know if you can see it really well oh i love this neon stuff Let's see if I put a little bit of it in here. That kind of will make this pumpkin pop a little bit. All right, so I'm going to Yes, and they're really not, um, gosh, the last time I saw Jessica was she was a bit, you know, she was a baby. And of course, she's a grown married woman now. So my sisters and I are going to pop over too, so we get a chance to, to see them as well. So it'll be, at least, hopefully they'll feel that they're, you know, that we're, they're wanted. Me too, Brenda. I love that neon. Now, let me see if I can figure out where I last saw. Mm. That's not it. Mm. See, I should learn to save these things, and I don't do it. I 
I should show you the um, being as I'm taking up all your time anyway. Let's see. Do I have a photo of my This is the boho vest I'm making. So see that center part is like a mandala. So I just I just put in the arm holes. So I'm like right here. So I'm just about finished. And I'm thinking I'd like to give it to my bonus son, um, uh, wife, if I if I like it. I, well, I don't know about the coloring. We'll have to see, but that's who I have in mind to give it to anyway. So if I do primitive Halloween patterns, let me see. Call from hmm. I guess I'm not going to be able to find it easily. I'm going to have to wing it. I'm going to wing it. Yes, yeah, so I'm using acrylic paint. Yeah, the yarn I picked for that um, boho. Um, vest, I guess you'd call it, poncho, um, is um, a yarn by Hobby, Hobby H-O-B-B-I-I, -I, twisted, and it's got a coral, a beautiful coral center, and then it gets lighter as it goes out, and then it picks up um, almost like a whitey gray color, and then it goes into a, a gray, a charcoal, and then it's black on the edges. It um, is beautiful fabric. Beautiful fabric. All right, let's see. This guy, we're just going to do. All right, in the original picture that I saw. Yes, that's definitely a twirling vest. Um, there's a little black cat. Um, well, all right, let's just put in some eyes. Let's see what happens here. This is where it could go very wrong. All right, so then it had a... This guy, this pumpkin was holding a kitty cat bucket. So let's just do it. So it was just a black circle. With little kitty cat ears. My granddaughter is now six and she loves to twirl. I have bought her several dresses where they're just, they call them skeet, skeet dresses. And she loves to twirl. All right, my ears are not perfect on this little bucket, but I'm going to give this guy just a little nose. I don't know if I can fix that here. Oh, well. This 
is just silliness at this point, right? So we got to make a little handle. Too much water in my brush again. Yes, I, have a, I struggle when I'm on my phone as well. <laughs> I tip over anyway. I was always, always, always prone to dizzy. Always prone to dizzy, dizzy. Dizzy head, dizzy head. I kind of messed this one up. Oh, good grief, Lori. Sometimes the problem with the liner brush, it holds... A lot of paint and sometimes if you don't watch that's what it does it holds water and then if you don't get it out properly you make a big mess on your work surface now the kitty cat had a pumpkin bucket now my pumpkin here needs uh okay re thanks thanks for letting me know i appreciate that Let's give this pumpkin a stem. Trying to cover up where I messed up that handle. Shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. All right, so let's use a little gray for our kitty cat. Well, this is uh, this is the French gray. That's th this should work. Oh, good grief, Lori! I just put my lid, my paint into my my lid into my white paint. <sighs> struggle, struggle, struggle. All right. So I'm going to put a little water in my liner brush. Let's just give this little kitty some eyes. And a little nose like that. And then let's do um, little wispies. I should really twirl this. I'm not really good at going the opposite direction. Yeah, it should be a nice visit. 
let's see i have a smaller like a number two. Oh, that's the number two. Oh, I don't know it's not shaped very well I really wish my aunt was with them. That would be really great. I haven't seen, we haven't seen our aunt in a while. Okay, so this is a pumpkin bucket on the kitty cat. Yeah, I didn't cover so great. And let's see, I want to do a little, um, let's see, where do I have? Boop, 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 boop. Gosh, guys, I wasn't going to be on this long. Let's see, we'll put a little... Kitty cat or face over here on the little bucket. Mm, and I think I want the moon to be kind of You know, swirly like that. You put a little bit of a darker, darker side of the moon. I don't want it too dark, though, I don't think. Let's see if I can clean up that gray a little bit. No, I don't think that's going to work. I'm not, I need something really... This might work. Some white. That looks a little better, I think. All right, now I want to take my scruffy brush that I had earlier. I'm going to dry that out a little bit. Whoops. Whoopsie. And I'm just picking up all different colors that are on my palette here and kind of adding to the little shrubby things. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but. I think I'm going to try to find the, the picture that I'm working from because I'm not sure if I want a little bit of a mouth there on the pumpkin. And um, I said earlier, yeah, I need to have the handle come out there, but I was fixing that one spot. And I have to put a little bit of a mouth in there. So like he's holding it in his mouth. I think he got it up a little too far. But it's a little spooky.
Okay, so that'll do for that, I think. And now I need to just intense, intensify this pumpkin here. I wasn't going to put these in. I should have left well enough alone. You know how that goes. Back away from your painting. And I think I need a little more white. The pumpkin ate the cat. The pumpkin ate the cat. Hi, oh, the dairy, oh, the pumpkin ate the cat. I'll make these eyes really light. You think I need anything else in the moon? Yeah, that's the problem. If you have Holly as a co-pilot, she's pretty good at telling you to leave it alone. Of course, you have to listen. I have to move this. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to He's getting funkier and funkier looking. Yeah. That's probably past the point of no return. Let's do some pumpkin lines here. And let's do a little, see if we can do a mouth here without getting into too much trouble. Too much trouble. I got a little wire there and a little wire there where he's holding the pumpkin bucket in his mouth. Woo, there it is. Woo, there it is. All right, let's see. Now I'm just getting fussy. No, guys, what do you think? It, what else does it need? Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. I don't think we need an apple tree ribbon. All right, let's see. Let's give this little guy some. Yeah, not liking that so much either. Yeah, see, I'm getting at the point where, Lori, just leave it alone. Leave it. Now I need a little gray 
Yes, Tony Orlando and Dawn. You are exactly right. Too bad there's no prize. <laughs> Sorry, Holly. No prize. All right, let's give this here, pumpkin. Ah, I did it again. Oh, guys, look now what I did. This now concludes the end of this here debacle. Nothing like having wet white paint on your paper towel to absolutely screw up your painting. Do, 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 do. All right, let's make this a pumpkin jack o' lantern. All right. All right. What else does it need? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Hubby will put a couple of holes in the top and I'll put some either wire or twine. I think I might just call that done. I might spatter it a bit. A bat. Ooh. On the moon, Peg? What do you think? On the moon? Yes. Ooh, girl, we are in tune with the moon. All right. So now, let me see. Let me think. How do I want to do a bat? Bitty, 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 bitty. I just really want to go. Maybe not even that. Oh, see, this is where I get very nervous because I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. Look, I got a drip mark there. What the heck am I going to do there? Got a drip mark there. I'm going to have to spatter it so I can get rid of my drip marks. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Bats in the tree. Bats in the belfry. All right, I'm looking it up because I'm just, I'm very visual. Okay, so let me go here and I'm going to say whimsy. Let me see if I get whimsy bats in tree. What kind of an image? Well, that's not really what I say would be whimsy. I could just do like those um you know how we do these um you know you do the birds like this you just do the little uh, uh, like that the little uh, uh, like that and then just come under here and make them wibbly underneath All right, so I want to do the one in front of the moon a little bigger, I think, right? Okay, let's see. I'm just going to go like that. You like the sound effects? I do Batman light bulb. I mean, this should be a cinch. Batman. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay. Do you think that's enough? I definitely have to spatter. See, I don't like that right there. Got a bit of tree kind of out of sorts there so do i need more than one bat julie said in the trees it's fall leaves are dripping yes bats in the trees it's very clear it's just a bloody day um i don't want to go overboard I don't want to go overboard. You should be smaller. La 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 la. Uh, did I grab brown or did I grab black? Inquiring minds want to know. Look, I have black on my arms. I don't even know how I did it. I think I'm just going to leave well enough alone, kids. All right, now, see, Frankenstein, I went around the edge and deepened the edges with some charcoal paint. And I think I could use a little bit of that as well on this one. Let's just see if I can find me a brush that'll give me the look I am going for. I've got, I've got all kinds of little doodads hanging in my vision, in my vision. Do pumpkin and cat need a shadow? Perhaps they do. I'm not good at the shadow part. You mean like on the ground? Which way would it be? It would be that way and that way. Oh, Peg, you make a very good point, I dare say. Maybe I should just deepen the edges a little bit to kind of make it pop out from the, um, I think I need a potty break is what I need. Do, 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 do. Oh, could put tiny bats in background like they are coming in. I have a few little ones back there. I don't know if you can see. So you got that little guy, and I got those two little guys. Yes, you are correct, Amundo. Correct, Amundo. All right, let's scruff up this here. Let's scruff up this up a little bit here. Just a little tiny bit here. It's very clear, all love is here to say. See, that's now that's in my head. Not for I am, but for heaven today. Yeah, I think I like that a little better. 
I'm the rockiest. I need a Halloween song. Song. You did the mash. You did the mash. The monster mash. Graveyard dash. It's one thing I miss about driving into work every day. I don't get to listen to my oldies radio. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can quickly add a little something something here. If I can find the brush. You did the mush. The board is from the front, I believe, the front, maybe it's the back, panel of a dresser. My husband knocked the dresser apart and saved the boards. I'm going to try the charcoal first. It's very clear. Just the one side like that? I don't know. See, this is where this is where I'm not I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Like with some things, I have it. It's just in my brain, and I think, oh yeah, that looks okay. But like, see now, I'm kind of winging it. Does that make any difference, do you think? You do the mash. Now your light source is coming from the left. You do the mash. So I should have had it on the other side. Is that what you're saying, Peg? And this kitty cat's saying, oh, geez, when is she going to ever be finished? So I need it light. Well, see, they're light on that side, darker on this side. Hmm. Give that tree a little darkness there. And then let's give him a little lightness. Here. Hmm. I might be at the point of no return. No, with the shadow on the right, light comes from the left. Uh, yeah, shadow on ground below pumpkin on right side. Okay, kiddo. Peggy, I would love to sit and watch you work sometime. I'm just saying, pig. I really would. You got so many cool ideas. Ba 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 dee 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 
Well, I scared off mostly everybody. There's just about six of us here now. And Mary will be coming on later this evening, I do believe. And so I'll just finish up Frank with some words. See, at least this makes me get some stuff done for my for the co-op. And I think I'm just going to spatter this. I don't want to think I don't think I'm going to spatter my moon. I did it on the moon shadow. Moon shadow. Moon. See, my brain is like all over the map. Let's put that there. And let's do a flippy floppy liner brush like our little dudykins uses. And I'm going to just really wet down some black. And I'm testing it on some paper I have sitting up in front of me. I love heavy spatter. And I think I might spatter some white as well. Graveyard mash. That's what I should have put some. Don't, don't. I don't want to go any further. Oh, Peggy, I don't believe that. I don't believe you're being quite honest with us, really. Let's see if I got any. I don't know if I have enough white. On a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Okay. Don't you feel sorry for the people? Well, not really, because they can just turn it off. Sorry for the people on the replay. Sorry, people on the replay. Oh, yes. That's the ticket. I do believe. I'll hold it up. Um. Oh gosh, is it is it the hop tonight? See, I didn't do this one because I don't. I'm not. Um. I don't have that kind of architectural building kind of a brain. Is this the second Friday? Is it the second Friday already in September? I took my calendar away. Wait a minute. Oh, Jilly, you could be right. Hold, hold, please. No, I can't see it in there. Let's see. Let me get the calendar up on my... As we then, as we digress again. Oh, uh, calendar. Friday. Allowance. Okay, Thursday. Where's my, um... Friday the 10th. I can't see the whole calendar. Oh, there we go. Oh, Jilly, I think you might be right, sweetie. So Mary's probably hosting that hop. They're doing some kind of um, uh, interactive pop-up books or something. Yeah, you're probably right. I know it's usually the second Friday. But see, I'm out of this one because... I just, I just couldn't wrap my brain around it. New chat. You know what? I'm thinking about something, and it's not really like what what uh, Rosemary does. Is what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking about is maybe making some kits available and do uh, a craft along with Pink Girly, and uh, where you would, you know, it would be limited to maybe like six people myself included and then um i would send you the the um, pieces of the project that you know you may maybe couldn't get a hold of like you would be responsible for you know your scissors and glue and, and that kind of thing but i'm i'm spinning around some different ideas 
because it's so easy to, um, you know, get a room, <laughs> get a room, you two, get a room in uh, on Facebook or even here on uh, StreamYard and uh, send a link, you know, and um, do a project with folks. So I, I don't know, I've got, I've got a lot of things tossing around in my head in this old here pumpkin head of mine. Well, I think I need to, to go and um gosh was the hop on earlier today because i didn't see because usually it's one in the morning right they usually start early in the morning but i didn't see anybody on today except colleen but I, that could be me i could have missed it but i didn't get any notices oh poo if i missed it i'll be upset anywho uh, let's see. What else did I want to tell you all? I guess that's it. I need a potty break. And I need to have my Murray fix. But anyway. Well, thank you all for joining me. And for those of you who watch on the replay, I do appreciate you too so very much. And I might leave a couple of little links uh, in the description box if anybody's interested in some of the brushes that I've used and you know that kind of thing. Thanks Peggy. I'm glad you were able to pop in. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, perhaps I shall see you on the tube somewhere. Have a good evening. Frida, I don't know if you're still here, but I will be in touch. I do promise I will. It just may not be in the next couple of days because we have our out-of-state friends coming to visit tomorrow and a visit with family on Sunday. You're welcome, Julie. Thanks so much for being here. And as always, thank you to my dear Holly, who helps me so very much. And uh, I guess that's it, girls. Don't forget, take time to be creative. Enjoy the journey. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.